Afternoon baseball now from the heart of Texas in Rangers ballpark in Arlington. Today it's the rubber match of this three game series. More from the guys as this one goes along, but first, let's get a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Boston Red Sox as John Farrell's guys will line up like this. They'll have a tough task ahead of them as they square off against the hard-throwing reliever turn starter right-hander Alexi Ogando. Into the box steps the leadoff man. Underway this afternoon as the first pitch is pulled on the ground to third. Throw on to first and Pedroia is set down to open up the ball game. And this is on the ground for Kinsler at second. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. So bases are empty here. And this pitch is hit hard as it'll fall into right field for their first hit of the ball game. Jared Saltalamacchia will stand in. Now a throw over. And the throw sails right over the head. behind that fastball. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Starting lineup for Ron Washington's Rangers looks like this. And they'll go to work against the no-hit kid from back in 2008, the slender right-hander Clay Buckholz. Ian Kinsler will step in. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. Elvis Andrew, 0-2 oh and coming. Oh, out in front of the off-speed pitch there as this is a little dribbler out in front of home plate. On to first, and a good start to the inning for Buckholz. Two away now. Giancarlo Stanton. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Ramon Mateo. Too comfortable up there, so that's a good idea to run something in tight. But this will be speared at third, and that was self-defense all the way. One gone. This fastball right here because you don't want to run the risk of putting him on base. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Two. Now here's a swing, and a ball hit well out there toward right center. And he will make the catch just shy of the track in the inning. Nelson Cruz will stand in. Pitch on the way. Jammed him there as this is rolled out to short. And he'll turn and fire a desperation throw to first. And a poor throw, but Ortiz stays with it for the out. Nice play by the big fella. And the 1-1 is in the air now out to center. And Ellsbury will put this one away for route number two. Juan Medeiros will stand in. And this is swung on and bounced on the ground to third. Stabs for it. He's got it. Throw on to Ortiz and that'll... Brock Holt will stand in. This is hit sharply to the left side. And a base hit now, as that's how the third inning gets underway. Tony Cruz digs in at the play. To the at-bat coming up. No, and he takes four. ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top. Heels of a walk. He needed to get ahead of the next guy, and he did just that. Swinging a ground ball towards the middle. Oh, and this goes right past him. And the run will score as the Sox are off to a 1-0 lead. Number 13. Number. Now a swing and a ball hit high in the air into shallow left center. Kubel is there and he has it for the out. Jacoby Ellsbury. To right field. Cruz is right there as he takes it for the second out. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. To set him up here one and two. 
And a big strike out there. They'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after Jason Kubel will stand in. Now he turns on one and rips it down the line. And this will stay fair as it's by Ortiz down the line. Ryan Domit will stand in. And he got him. Craig Gentry. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Ortiz is over now and he's got it for route number two. So we're runner at first here with... Hit hard and caught down there at third. Needed just a little... Ramon Mateo. Peter by him. So he's ramped up the velocity here the last two pitches. A ball hit to Andrus at short. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Jackie Bradley will dig in. Reaches for one and slaps it down the line at third. And this is past him at third. Down the line. It's a fair ball. David Ortiz will dig in. Out in front of the fastball, but this is skied into straightaway right. Under it is Cruz now for out number two. Brock Holt will stride. Swing and a line drive to center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Throw will hold that runner at second base, and now there are two on with two out. Tony Cruz will stand in for the Red Sox to this point. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Here's Elvis Andrus now. To Here's one hit towards the hole. And that'll get on through into left for a leadoff single. Giancarlo Stanton. Andrus holding, and now the pitch. Now a swing and a miss, and Stanton is down on strikes for round number one. Nelson Cruz. First pitch of the A.B. is swung on and lifted in the air to straightaway center. Bradley has to come in from the next area code to put this one away. Wow. Mitch Moreland. There goes Elvis. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Save. And it'll be too late to get Andrus as he's safe at second base. Pitch in the dirt. Swung on and missed for strike three as they'll need to throw to first here. And the throw is in time. Back to the top of the order now. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Number 13 will stand in. Now here's a swing, and he's got the ground ball pitch work in this inning. This one's over to first base. And Moreland will just step on first. First pitch is a fastball that shot right back up the middle and on into center field for a base hit. So it's a runner at first with two gone. First pitch here is popped a mile high into the air. This is way up there, but playable on the infield. And Moreland will put this one away. Juan Medeiros was a fastball, and he hoped he'd see it again, but he got the curveball instead. Comes with the cutter, but this is hit high in the air out to left field. Mateo comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Jason Kubel will dig in. He's going to lock in on one pitch, one zone, and he'll hurt you if he guesses right. And now for the second batter in a row, this is in the air out to left field. Mateo is over just a few steps to his right as he takes it for round number two. Ryan Doman. Another zero. Struck him out, but he'll try for first on the drop third strike. And the throw to first will indeed get him. Ramon Mateo. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball toward the hole. 
And that'll sneak on through into right for a leadoff single. Jackie Bradley will stand in. On the ground is second. Andrews on to Moreland, but it's too late, so they'll get just the one. So a runner at first from the stretch. Runner goes for second. Pitch outside the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. To make sure if you come inside, you come way inside. You leave it out a bit, he's liable to hit that thing in the second deck. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out, but meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. And this is on the ground now for Andrus at short. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Craig Gentry will step in. Now a ball lined towards center field, and that's in there. Base hit. He's around first on his way to second now. Throw into second, but he'll be in there with a double. Runner at second now. Nobody out. Runner not going anywhere at second. Now the pitch. And this is swung on and missed, though the ball did hit the ground, so he'll need to go to first. Throw on to first is in. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Giancarlo. Strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. Fastball swung on and hit on the ground at third. Throw on to Ortiz, and that'll retire the Joaquin Soria is on out of the bullpen now as he gets to work in his 60th game of the season. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. So the leadoff man retires. and one. Hit hard on the ground is short. Throw on to first. He'll take care of Pedroia, and there are two away. Number 13 will step in. So with a lefty waiting, they'll go to a lefty of their own. That's on the ground to short. This should end the inning. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first and the side. Nelson Cruz will step in. Excellent to start shrinking. You need that to be a strike. And this will be nowhere close as his control deserts him here. It's a five pitch walk. Here comes the Red Sox manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all now for Clay Buckholz. Here he comes again, 1-2. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Juan Medeiros will start. On a big swing there at a fastball, and he really got into it high and deep to left center field. Ellsbury is there to take it, and that's the second out of the inning. Jason Kubel will dig in now. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Ryan Domit will step in now. Here's one hit softly down the line in left. And this will get by him at third down the line. It's a fair ball. And that's going to plate the tying run from second as we've got ourselves a brand new ball game now. Left field. Mateo is there, and he'll make the catch to retire. Jacoby Ellsbury will get us going. Now a swing and a miss as Ellsbury's down on strikes for the first out. Jared Saltalamacchia. Now a ball lined into left field. That's a base hit. Now time is called, and we'll have a pinch runner at first, and that'll be a wise decision. Run it from 0-2 to 3-2, and, and that last one wasn't even close. And some trouble now in right field. And he is in there at third as the possible go-ahead score. Jackie Bradley will stand in. 
and a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and a big out there as the go-ahead run stays at third with two gone now. Nick Markakis will come on to pin. eyes here, and sooner or later, he's going to have to challenge him. Hits softly to the right side. And the throw to first will be in time, so the Red Sox... John Hicks will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. John Lackey is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Mike Napoli is into the... And now a ball hit fairly well here out to the deep part of left field. Mateo has to retreat a bit, but he gets there for route number one. Elvis Andrews now the pitch. Now a swing and a miss on a pitch well out of the strike zone as he becomes the second out. Giancarlo Stanton. Now a fastball and it's hit on the ground is short. On to first and this will remain a tie ball game. Robbie Ross will enter now to start the ninth inning as his job will be keeping the game tied until the bottom half. Will Middlebrooks is going to come up. And he takes strike three called. And that didn't go according to plan as the pinch hitter is set down for the first out. Francisco. And he'll head right back to the dugout here as the pinch hitter is set down on three pitches. And there are two away. And the pitch. Now a big swing. And this is a major league pop-up way up there toward the center of the diamond. Medeiros will put this one away and decide. Francisco Linder is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Clint Barmas is also into the game as he takes over at short. And that misses here. Ball four. And of all things, it's a leadoff walk that puts the winning... And, oh, that looked like it caught him squarely in the arm. And they'll try to salvage something here, but to no avail. And now we'll have to check and see if he's okay. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that winning run stays at third with one away now. Swing, line, drive. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. And the winning run is across to score. You know, they came into this bottom of the ninth inning knowing that they needed just one run to make it official. And they come through big time here to send this crowd home happy. Tops player of the game. Yeah, not the longest outing he'll ever have. He only made it six full innings, but he definitely brought his good stuff to the ballpark. And he in the air to left field, towering shot. Forget about it. He did it. Jim Tomey opposite. First pitch. That's a base hit right field. Here comes Norris, and the A's are going to do it again. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What is happening in Oakland, Ray Fossey? I have no idea, Glenn Kuyper. <laughs> so another walk-off win. Make it 11. A four-game sweep of the New York Yankees at the Coliseum. It's never happened before. And here's that man again. Well, Mattis got to get some breaking balls over. Which he has done. has made it tough on left-handers. Left-handers hitting 170 or below off of them since being in the bullpen. Did he do it again? He did! Unbelievable. In the air to center. It is way back and goodbye home run. Baseball history. A four-homer ball game. Josh Hamilton. And eight runs batted in. Well, nobody likes to get beat up like the Orioles are, but how often do you get 
to see this. And they're going to be telling friends and family and children I was there when he did it. Coco! Ball game! Western Division! The Oakland A's have shocked the Rangers and the baseball world, and they are the AL Western Division Championship on speed. Leave a ball! High drive, left field, Davis back, on the track, at the wall, leaps, and he makes the play! Oh, what a play by Davis! He took a home run away from Casey McGee! Wow! Talk about stealing hits, how about stealing a home run? Alvarez hammers it! Deep to right center field, way back it goes! El Toro strikes in the 19th! And his wife, Kelly, loves it. It's 4-3. Pedro Alvarez, home run number 23. Well, we needed something dramatic, and that was it. And this is hit out into the alleyway. A long run for Blanco, and Blanco's going to dive, and he makes the catch! Just an unbelievable catch here in the seventh inning. Johnson and Jeter will reach and they give him a base hit and with that base hit he puts the great Willie Mays in his rearview mirror he now stands alone in 10th place on the major league all-time hits list one two to Davis back-to-back -back one hitters for R.A. Dickey third Allen Dickey continues to get more and more unlikely. That is amazing. On the ground, Arias from deep. And that's a perfect game. Mobbing Matt Kane on the pitcher's mound. By Matt Kane, that's the 20th in Major League history and the first in the Giants franchise history. Cole Hamill sends one of the air deep to I'll tell you what, we said they're evenly matched when this game started, but we didn't expect this. But now he's got a chance for some. Brzezinski has got to throw it down. It's a putter on the 21st of April, 2012 in Seattle, the 20th. Number 300 for Miguel Cabrera. Tuffin. In their 51st season, Johan Santana has thrown the first no-hit. There might be some people that appreciate it. There's some Brewer fans on they their feet. It. I think that I think it's because they know it's a sin that it's twice that that's happened for Aaron Hill tonight or in this season. This is beyond historic. 3-2-2 two, two away, Longoria waiting. Big play to Hardy, and Wieters will put the tag on him. 20 years old. And new bottom of the night.